All right, guys, so I recently sold my Ram TRX. Yes, that big, beautiful blue 700 horsepower beast had to go. Basically, I drive way too much for work and I work in a really big city, making it almost impossible to take that truck anywhere. And with the Ram Charger, the Jeep CJ7, and the Challenger being pretty much the bulk of my project vehicles, it was just an expense that I couldn't justify, right? So, so Lord and behold, I got this 2022. 2022 2022 bronco sport big ben but the crazy thing is you see all the stuff on top i got like 500 dollars worth of free accessories nice all right guys so the first thing i got was this bug deflector it does have this like textured feel to it then i got some uh window rain guard deflector things i did get um all weather mats but i already threw those in the b-sport and then i had some money left over so i got these carbon fiber uh look-alike letters that actually go on the front emblem here for Bronco and on the back for Bronco Sport as well. The best part to all this is basically everything uses double-sided tape, right? right? So it's like super easy to install. They even give you the alcohol prep pads that you can prep your surface with and adhesion promoter, which if you've seen my Challenger wide body videos, the first ones when I used the Vicrest kit, adhesion promoter is the magic miracle to anything double-sided tape. So I'm gonna get started and see how this uh, this Bronco Sport, this baby Bronco, see how mean I can make it look. All right, stick on mod number one, complete, check it out. So this is, like I said, it sticks on. Uh, there's really not much measuring to do. You just get it lined up and you'll be able to tell that they go, it goes ahead and lines up exactly where you need it. I think it gives a little more aggressive look on the front. I think it looks pretty tough. So the next thing I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna knock out these Bronco letters because they seem easy enough to do. So let's do that right now. And bam, there you have it. The carbon fiber overlay Bronco letters. Super easy stuff, just make sure it's clean. Couple sides of sticky tape and they're pretty cut exact. So it's really easy to do. I also did them on the back side over here. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. These are a lot smaller, but it's the same process overall. Now the last thing with my giant stickers basically is gonna have to be these window uh, visors. Now the steps for this is a little different, but mostly the same. You actually have to scuff up some of the rubber right along this edge right here. Scuff that up before you use alcohol, then adhesion promotion, and then you put the visors on. So. I'm going ahead and get started on that. Jumping into these front mud flaps, you gotta lift the vehicle up. This thing weighs absolutely nothing. And then you go ahead and pop out this plastic rivet, the uh, push pin, excuse me. The instructions say to throw it away, but we save all of our plastic push pins. Then you put the provided hardware in the first slot. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put the mud flap up here. Drill three holes with a quarter inch drill bit. Pop in some of these plastic push pins, ironically, pretty similar to the ones they tell you to throw away. And then on the last hole, do the same thing, drill a hole. That's gonna go right there. And then put in the provided hardware and you're done. All right, moving on to the back. I'm actually breaking a sweat now, starting to get hot. It's actually the same thing. You pull off these plastic push pins, you pull back the felt liner, you put in the new clips, and there's a screw that goes with it. Pull the felt liner back over it and put in the four screws. And that's all you do in the back. So now that I've done the front one, one back one, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other side and then we'll do a quick walk around so we can see what this little B-Sport looks like. It was actually, it was so hot that I had to change my shirt because I was sweating like crazy. But anyways, those are all the free mods that I got from Ford for purchasing this 2022 Bronco Sport Big Bend. And I think it looks pretty tough for the most part. I like the way this bug deflector kind of fills out that front end and these Bronco letters. I just feel like they get a little more depth. I mean, if they were all carbon fiber, that would have been pretty cool. But having the white kind of in the background, I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Mud flaps, as always, that helps keep the side of the vehicle clean. And then of course you got these deflectors, which I think get some more sunlight on this side, actually. I think it actually gives it a pretty decent look. It looks like 
the actual glass in the windows is smaller it just looks a little meaner and then got the bigger mud flap in the rear and of course the rear Bronco Sport lettering but it's just something when I look at this thing from the side it's just something that I, I know what it needs it's just that this is like my company vehicle right this is my to and from work vehicle this isn't the primary sports car or anything but I think I think this thing needs I know what it needs all right guys happy saturday it's exactly one week after i said i knew exactly what the bronco sport needed and that was a set of beefier tires so let's go ahead and look at them all right guys here you can see that the wheel well is a little more filled up i've got a beefier all-terrain tire and it just looks 10 times better than those street rubber band tires that they come with uh, i just like a more aggressive off-road tire look nothing crazy like the cj7 or the ram charger but this definitely filled up that wheel well and just gave it a more aggressive looking tire i gotta give a shout out to saline performance parts in round rock texas because they build all the really beefy bronco sports for the dealership so i called them up and i asked them hey what off-road tire can i go with that doesn't require me to lift my bronco sport it's not a bad lens it's a big bend so it doesn't have the factory lift on it and i don't want to lift it so they recommended the toyo open country in a 245 65 17 i have 17 inch wheels and i don't have to lift it as you can see here in the back, I'm gonna see if I can get this with the camera. It's really close to this fender liner, but nothing rubs. So I've been driving it all day yesterday and now some today, and I've got no rubbing issues. Uh, wheel lock to lock, no rubbing issues in the front either. And I achieved the look that I was going for. All right guys, so that is my, that's my daily driver. Um, I've already put in four weeks, almost 4,000 miles on it because I do drive a lot to the city, away from the city, to work and doing some other extracurricular stuff, usually running errands for the Challenger. And speaking of the Challenger, I'm wearing the Drift Challenger t-shirt. We are gonna be taking that car out on the 25th to River City Drift down in San Antonio to kind of uh, get our bearings straight on going sideways in such a big car. So guys, make sure you don't miss that series of videos because it is gonna be pretty neat it's going to be a completely new style of driving for me and it's going to be fun in the end it's going to be fun but that's going to wrap up today's video guys do me a favor if you like these videos if you own a bronco sport hit that like button leave a comment below and we'll catch you on the next video until next time guys peace out